horn is working. I love it. Yo, guys, it is Kiralis. Welcome back to Euro Truck Simulator number two, part two of this trip, which is from Malmö to Gardermo, Norge. And we just took a break outside Göteborg, as people living around here would say, Göteborg. So it is time to continue to Oslo and Gardermoen. When we deliver this shipment, I'm gonna go for the next episode to Oslo, find a track dealer, buy a new track, and it's gonna be awesome, all right? If there is any track dealers here, I don't know. Let's just continue. Jump into the truck, fire up the engine. Sound the horn, and it's amazing. By the way, uh, you know how I have been talking about the track IR thingy, if I'm gonna buy it or not? And there's like only one retail reseller retailer in Sweden which kind of sells it. So I was like, oh my god, should I buy it, should I not buy it? And then I found out there's like something, some app called called Face Track No IR, which lets you use like a track IR, IR device just using your webcam. So I tried it out, you know, I downloaded some stuff, installed some stuff, got a, like a Eurotrack Simulator profile and everything, and it, ca it worked great in this game, don't get me wrong, but I'm like this spastic OCD kid, so my head was like all over the place, like here, there, there, here and there, like this, and I don't think the track IR will work out for me, because, you know, I look everywhere, oh my god, by the way, we forgot about the we forgot about the giveaway. So you know what? Let's just break it down here. Break it down. I'm not gonna break it down. There we go. Put on my warning blinkers thingies. Let me see. There we go. Look at this. Alright. So the winner from the previous episode. Awkward drums on the desktop. Congratulations! The golden XD99, buddy. Big heart at ya. Check your YouTube inbox. Take the key, go on Steam, put it in, and bam, 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 track game in your face. Congratulations, bud. Same goes for the next episode, guys. Leave a comment below the video, give the video a like, and hopefully I will be able to pick you. But, you know what? Since we had a little bit of mishap with, uh, with the giveaway this episode, you know, you know, can I, will I make it, will I make it, will I make it? No, I won't make it. It's too fast for me. Since we had, like, a bit of mishap with the giveaways and stuff, we're gonna have a special giveaway for the next episode. That's right. So we're gonna have one copy of your track simulator for the next episode, guys. Then we gonna have It's gonna be Origin games, alright? So you need to have Origin. Battlefield 3. That's right. So your track simulator 2, Battlefield 3. We're gonna have Dead Space, Burnout Paradise. Crisis 2 Maximum Edition, mm -hmm. Dead Space 3, Medal of Honor, which is, I guess, the latest one, right? Mirror's Edge, Command and Conquer, Red Alert, The Uprising, and Populous. That's like 10 games or something. So, if you're interested in any of these games, just write a comment with the game name below. And then, Kiralis, I love you! Nah, no, you don't have to do that. But uh, just write the game below and I will pick the winners for the next, for the next episode of Euro Truck Simulator, alright? So, don't worry about a thing. Kiralis got it! So, replay of the games. Whoopsie daisy. Euro Truck Simulator number 2, check. Battlefield 3, check. Dead Space, check. Burnout Paradise, the ultimate box, check. Crisis 2, Maximum Edition, check. Dead Space 3, check. Mirror's Edge, check. Medal of Honor, check. Command and Conquer, Red Alert 3, The Uprising, check. And Populous, which I have no idea what it is, but seems kinda cool, the name, <laughs> I know. So just write the game name below, guys, and 10 games, that is crazy. So the next episode will be based off picking winners, basically. Dude, are you gonna let me out or are you just gonna be a shit face? You are gonna be a shit face, alright? Look at those poor guys. Oh, oh, you have nothing on me. No, I have no idea what I did. I restarted my game and the horn is here and working. I haven't downloaded a single mod to make it work. Besides the track mod, right? No idea. It's just amazing. I love it. So, 
for this episode. I got a lot of questions and stuff from you guys and stuff. No, no, what we're gonna, you know, how many questions we can take and stuff because you know we got 231 kilometers left to Gardemuen, which is the airport outside Oslo. Pam pam pam. That's right. First question is from Mir Mirko Mirko Radke. Mirko Radke. Dude, you sound like a character from Grand Theft Auto 4. Mirko, Roman, and Nico Belic. Awesome, buddy. Keralis, are you excited for the Oculus Rift? And being the kind of noob I am, I'm not really 100% sure what it is, but I guess it's something combining like virtual reality with track IR stuff, right? You got this like glasses helmet on your head. And um, that sounds totally legit. I have no idea if that's on the market yet or it will come out this year or when it will come out, but you know, I'm a sucker for new stuff. I, I, you know, stuff like that makes me happy and I usually buy them to try them out. If I don't like it, I just sell it again. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm not sure if I'm excited for it, but I'm definitely gonna buy it and try it out. Maybe do like a vlog of it for you guys in the future. So just, just stay, stay tuned guys. It's gonna be cool. And just imagine playing your track with that. <laughs> the spastic OCD Kiral is going all over the place like this. <laughs> Nah, but Battlefield 3, for example, using the Oculus Rift, oh my god, that must be pure love. Just imagine being in the chopper chopper up in there somewhere and just... Badass, badass. So, Mirko, I will get it, buddy. Not, not sure if I'm excited, but we will try it out. So thank you for your question. Next question is from OneLove52101. <laughs> what a name, dude. Would you play American Track Simulator if SCS made it? I'm not sure if SCS has made it like an American track driving game. I think they made some game which is called like 18 Wheels of Steel or something. I'm not sure if that's SCS or not, but I think there's one on the market. Although, if they made one which has the same graphics as this one, that would be pure bananas in pajamas. Of course I would try it out and play it. I know SCS is working on like a bus simulator and I mean that's gonna be totally badass just driving a bus across Europe. I mean, <laughs> what could be more exciting than that? Just imagine the action packed thing in that. Oh no, we got a queue here. This kinda sucks, I hate those toll bots. Just cost a lot of money. Yo, what's up? Is Keralis. Yo, oops, we're driving. Um, yeah, bus simulator. I know there's one which I've actually got. I've actually got a game called OMSI, I think it's called, right? OMSI bus simulator or something. Which, to be honest, I haven't really tried out. But I got it, you know? I got a lot of games which I haven't played yet. So... I might try out that game before, but if SCS Software, like every game SCS Software makes, is pure love for me because I love driving simulator games. It's just, it's just awesome. So yeah, if they make an American version, buddy, I will totally, totally play it. So don't worry about it. And let me see here. Daniel, Daniel Presley. Daniel Presley. Keralis, you're full of awesomeness. I, I, would, I, I, I wouldn't say that, but thank you, buddy. I mean, come on. What is going on here? Why is everyone turning? Why is this closed off? Oh. You know what this might be? This might be the border between Sweden and Norway. Like, I think it's called Svinesund. I'm not really 100% sure, but I think it's Svinesund. And since Norway is not part of the European Union as a country, there's like customs between Sweden and Norway and stuff, you know, so where you need to go through customs and border control and border check and everything. Most of the other countries don't have it. Yo, I have nothing to declare besides a shotgun next to me. Look at this. It's crazy. I love it. Uh, so yeah, Norway is not a part of the European Union, so they have like border controls and custom clearance. I should know this because, you know, I was like, you know, 
directing tracks from Poland to Norway. And that was a pain, you know, we have to fill in all those paperwork on title and customs and declare I get a lot of goods and pay bills and ah, oh, it kind of sucks. Let me see here. We're going, we're going. Daniel, buddy, don't worry, I'm gonna read your questions in a little bit. I'm just gonna focus mode this because it's pretty narrow. And knowing me, I'm gonna fail on this somewhere about. Let's see here. Dude, you're stopping, right? You're stopping. Alright. Yes, he stopped. No, he's driving! Dude! Don't be. Look at that dude! He just overshoot the roundabout, what not? What a dude! So, Daniel Presley, what was the first game you recorded and why? Dude, the first game, as you see my channel, it's filled with Minecraft and stuff. And that is just because I started out playing Minecraft and recording Minecraft on YouTube. Like, I didn't plan to get to where I am at this point. I just built a cool thing in Minecraft, which was a, a big hotel. Back in the days, that was the big stuff, right? Cobblestone and wood hotel. And oh my god, I was like, oh my god, that's so, so cool. So I recorded that and uploaded it to YouTube, and it kind of started off from there. I, you know, I, I don't know, I didn't plan to do it. As you look back... Oh, let me just get this turn so I don't crash. Norway. We are in Norway. We are in Norway. And it's so pretty. <laughs> Some of the Norwegian people went totally rage mode in the comments from the last episode because I said you talked like big cuddly Teletubbies. And that's kind of how I found you guys, you know? You get this little cool voice and stuff and dialect and accent. I love it. I love it. Teddy Teletubbies. Big cuddly Teletubbies. As you look back onto it, do you uh, do you think that you became more comfortable towards recording with commentary? Oh, dude, totally. Like when I started out, I thought like, okay, I need to be super serious. I need to be like super professional. I was shy back then, and my voice was like totally like a like a, like a robot's voice. But after a while, you know, you, you do one video after the video after another video after another video and it doesn't matter just be yourself and mostly now I'm just being myself having a good time playing video games so the more you do it the more you record the more comfortable you get recording with commentary and you know I think everyone is shy from the beginning but it kind of loos loosen up after a while and it just gets bananas so yeah dude totally thank you for your question and yeah Good luck if you're starting out YouTube, buddy. Then we got 111 Barca fan. He's got a lot of questions. Look at my speed. Kiralis is doing 99, I did, back there. Downhills in this truck. You know what? Let's be pro. Let's overtake somebody. Like a boss. Look at this. I'm doing this. What video card do you use? Dude, I'm using an NVIDIA GeForce 670. It's an old card. I've had it for like one year now and I'm still playing most games in on maximum details and graphic settings and stuff in full resolution, which is HD for me. And it kind of works out still. It doesn't lag that much. And you get a thing that I'm still recording, so my recording software takes a lot of computer power from, from the whole shablang. But I'm gonna buy a new graphics card, which will be an NVIDIA again, because... I don't know, guys, I've tried the ATI graphic cards, like, twice, twice, and they both broke down because of heating problems. So, you know, first impressions last, I guess. Like, well, two times the impressions last, I guess, because I tried two, but... I don't know. After my accidents, I'm not gonna buy an ATI graphics card no more. It's gonna be all about NVIDIA, buddy. What are Miss Kerala's religious views? Oh, dude, you're going into those hard mode questions. You know, myself, I was born in Poland, and that's a, that's a Catholic country, right? Miss Kerala is born in England, which is not that Catholic, but her mom is from Ireland. Ireland? Let me just... Boop, boop. What you watching there, buddy? What you watching? Let me see. Dude, that looks like Facebook or whatnot. Dude, you should be working. 
so yeah, she, her mom is from Ireland, and that's Catholic, super Catholic, right? So she should be Catholic, but neither of us... Dude, are you for real? Oh, now you're driving. There we go, thank you very much. Uh, neither of us are, like, religious. I kind of feel bad about it, you know? Oslo discovered. We are in Oslo. <laughs> it's my Norwegian English accent. Um, but we're not, you know, we don't go to church every Sunday and stuff, so we're just, you know, just chilling about, you know. And for those people who are, are like, super religious and stuff, it's, it's fine by me, like, I don't, I don't sit down on any religion, like, it's up to each person to believe in what they want to believe in. But for me, it's, nah, it's, it's not, it's not, not something for me, you know. I have found my inner peace. And that is Eurotraxin, but no, it's it's just, you know, I just live the life I want to live. Just day by day, we're, this is our turning point, right? Yes, it is. GPS never lies. <laughs> they lied a lot, though. Um, so, but, but yeah. What is better, Miami or Barcelona? Barcelona or Miami? Dude, I have never been to Miami. I've been to Barcelona. Barcelona. But uh, actually, Miss Kiralis is planning a trip to Florida. That's right. For the past two weeks, she's been looking at hotels and stuffs. So next trip with the baby, baby K, I think might be to to USA, USA. Hey. So after I've been there, I'm gonna compare and let you know, buddy. But before that, I can't do that. What is your favorite Swedish football team? Football team. That's soccer for the American people watching. Um, it's gotta be, you know what, dude, you gotta be shitting me. Oh, now he's speeding up. See what the big boy horn does? It does perform miracles. Uh, since I live so close to Malmo, Malmo, I gotta say Malmo. The Malmo Swedish football team is my favorite one. Although, I don't really watch much Swedish football because I just think the Swedish league is crap. Like, we've got some good football players, like Slatan Ibrahimovic, for example. Uh, but my favorite one is Henke Larsson, Henrik Larsson, which was playing in Celtic, for example. He even played in Barcelona on a loan for a, quite some time. And uh, he's gonna be my favorite. He's like this genuine guy, which is just filled with awesomeness. So I gotta say Henrik Larsson. Football team Malmo, but Swedish football is like, I don't know guys, for those who've seen like small kids playing football, you know, where like everyone is running after the ball, there's no position system whatsoever, everyone is just, I'm gonna score, for me Swedish football is a bit like that, even though, you know, it's not, like, you know, they have positions and stuff, you know, there's like midfielders or defenders and uh, forwards and attackers and everything and goalkeepers, but I don't, I don't like it, I don't like it. It just feels so boring and plain for some reason. So I don't really watch Swedish football, but Malmo is the favorite sw football team for me. Who's your favorite Barcelona player? Dude, Messi, Lionel Messi. He's just a magician. Oh, airplane, guys, we gotta be close to Gardemoen, Oslo, Flygplatz. Which is the biggest airport in Norway, right? Uh, Lionel Messi, he's just a magician with the ball. He's, he's amazing. He's badass. So, I, yeah, I gotta say Lionel Messi. Even though they got Neymar now from Brazil, but still, Lionel Messi. Um, what is your view about Islam and Muslims? Dude, you go into those tough questions. And as I said before, I don't really care what people practice or what they are, what skin color they have. I don't care about that. It's human beings, right? But I gotta say, like, since that's like a hot topic because of some problems. Oh, look at that airplane! Uh, like, some problems in the world and stuff. There's always this little group of people in each religion which causes problems. Doesn't really matter what religion you pick, there's always one group. Let's call them religious party poopers, alright? And they just cause problems. So that's my views. I don't really... I don't, I don't care, like, you know, black, white, yellow, green. I don't care what color you are. Dude, are you overtaking me here? That is a dangerous overtaking, buddy. 
I love everyone. Everyone is a human being, right? And everyone has the rights to live and stuff. So, dude, that's it. I'm not gonna go into that matter anymore. And then, all right, we got a question from Viper1980, which is not actually a question, but he writes like this. Well, I stopped asking questions. Mm -hmm. Did some good questions numerous times, but they never got picked. Dude, I am so sorry. Like, I really mean it. If I missed your question, I'm so sorry. Like, for each episode of Your Strike Simulator, there's like 2,000 comments. And sometimes I miss stuff. So, if, if I offended you, buddy, Viper, I'm so sorry. But see, you got my attention, buddy. And as well, he writes about this mod. Like, you know, in the previous episode, I kind of told you guys that I wished SCS Software made a mod, which was the Scandinavian DLC pack. And Viper thinks, like... The best thing would be for SCS software to buy this mod and has have it as a DLC. Because I gotta say, so far this mod is just bananas. It's beautiful. Viper, you're absolutely right. SCS software should just buy this mod and have it has it have it like a DLC. Because it's it's amazing. It's amazing. We have officially reached the Gardemuen airport in Oslo. Or outside Oslo, I'm sorry. Gardemuen. That might be like a little village or city or whatnot in Norway, I'm not really sure. Let me see here. Oh, I hate parking! I hate parking! Now some guys might be like, oh my god, it's so easy! It's so easy to park! No, it's not, it's super hard. It's super hard parking those big beasts. You can't really see anything. I'm just gonna go all John Rambo on this. If I fail, I fail, but... This will actually mean that we're gonna fail on this, but don't worry, don't worry. What I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna kinda adjust the trailer position a bit, and then back it up once more, and then we get it, right? Hopefully. If we fail, we fail. This shipment is already failed, because we are delayed, we are super delayed, guys. Just because I slept, because I hate nighttime driving on camera. Oh no, this is gonna fail. This is gonna fail big time. You know what? I'm twisting the wheel as much as I can, guys, don't worry. I got this, I got this, almost got it, got it, got it, no, 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 no. <gasps> Sorry. I got a bit overexcited with the wheel turn. It's not easy, guys, it's not as easy as it might seem here. It is super hard. Will we succeed? Oh, come on! I know it's a bit crooked and all, but I mean... Just be happy what you get. Alright. Last approach, guys. Yes, yeah, so this shipment will be delayed and we will lose money and stuff, but... What to do? What to do? Take a poo? There we go. Just look at this. It's not perfect, but I like it. Let's see, what did we make? Late. How much money did we lose? 1,278 euros, which is not that bad. Amazing. So guys, you know, this is it for this episode. 23 minutes or something we've been recording. 24 even, maybe, I don't know. Let me just hide away all this badness. And in the next episode, I will go to Oslo, find a truck dealer, buy a new truck, get a shipment from there and I will resume from there guys so thank you for watching don't forget to write which game you picked all right and the stuff so hopefully we'll be able to win don't forget it guys give it a like comment favorite guys much love this is Kiralis I'm out of here hopefully you enjoyed <laughs> I love it you know what I'm gonna see if I can pick one more American track for the next episodes guys so Mushy love, Kiralis is out of here, I'm driving to Oslo off camera, bye bye, take care and see ya in the next episode. Mm -hmm.